So my name is Jeff Scott, AKA Scotty, or AKA Muggsy, depending on who I'm with and what I'm doing. Uh, but I, uh, I grew up in a small town in Southern Iowa. There were only 2,000 people in the entire town. Uh, I really like to say that I had a Mayberry childhood, uh, just kind of an all-American childhood. That's how I looked at it. Uh, we were able to run around the town, uh, you know, run over to friends' houses and play in the backyard, run down to the local pond and fish. Uh, we just grew up in an idyllic setting. Uh, and one of the things that uh, was wonderful uh, was that everybody thought like I did. Everybody looked like I did. It was a pretty uh, homogenous society. And so I didn't grow up being exposed to anybody that was really much different than I was. Then eventually uh, I graduated high school and left my, uh, my wonderful childhood, my hometown, and went off to college uh, near a big city, near Kansas City, and boy were things different there. Uh, I went from a big fish in a little pond uh, to a little fish in a big pond, and I went from everybody looking like me to lots of people who didn't look like me and lots of people who didn't think like me. Uh, I made some friends, I made some enemies, uh, but one thing that I did do, that I did discover that had a huge impact on my life is I met uh, my future wife, uh, Sophia. And uh, wouldn't you know, Sophia did not look like me and she did not think like me. She is pretty much the total opposite of me. Uh, Sophia is a mixed race woman. Her uh, father was half black and half white. Her mother is Mexican, uh, but you know what? She looked good, uh, she had a great personality, I just fell in love with her and that, the rest of it didn't matter. We got married, we've been married for 30 years. Uh, so through that 30 years, I've been exposed to a lot of people who were different than me. Uh, how they thought, how they acted, um, and it's been, it's really enriched my life. So uh, as a result of, of this exposure to diversity, you know, I started thinking, hey, I'm a modern guy. You know, I don't have any issues with race or people who are different than me. But over time, as uh, we progressed in our marriage, as um, uh, I just got to know her better and I became more mature myself, I started recognizing attitudes in myself uh, that didn't fit with the image that I thought that I was. I thought I was this modern guy, right? But I started recognizing attitudes in myself that were prejudiced. Uh, and I just, I couldn't figure out why that was. Here I had this newfound exposure to diversity, and why were these thoughts popping into my head? So another major um, impact in my life has been my faith. Uh, my faith has made a huge difference uh, in how I think, how I act, how I believe, and it's progressive. Uh, I've grown over time in my faith. And uh, one of the things that I do each morning when I pray is I pray the prayer of St. Nicholas. And in the prayer of St. Nicholas, uh, you pray to seek first not to be understood, but to understand someone else. And over time, I've really learned the value of getting to know people who are different than me uh, and not defending myself for my own thoughts or actions, but getting to know who they are and trying to understand them. And uh, as I've done that, it's really enriched my life. Uh, it's enriched my friendships and it's broken down some, some prejudice attitudes in my own life. So I just wanna get together with Romeo and have some conversation, get to know him and commit uh, to understanding him and to making the world a better place in the process. Hey everybody, this is Ronald Romeo North. And um, I'm from a small city called Tampa, Florida, home of the world champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And um, unlike my friend Muggsy, um, I had the opportunity to kind of grow up all over the world. Um, I've lived in Japan. I've lived in Germany. Uh, I lived all over the United States um, being a military brat. But not only that, I'm actually a former member of the group Soul Fruit, and um, that afforded me the opportunity to travel all over the country, singing and dancing and loving on people. And so with that 
all of that stuff gives me kind of a, a unique life. Now, a byproduct of that unique life is that I have a, what I consider to be a very special worldview, which is kind of like a Jesus worldview. So I just kind of look at people through the lens of everybody has their stuff and they should have space, you know, and, and be able to live in that space and free from my judgment. And, you know, there's always room for grace and, I think if we had more people who allowed folks um, kind of the dignity and the humanity to be who they are and where they are in that moment and not try to judge people through a lens that we've created, I think most of our problems um, would be pretty basic. You know, we, we could get through a lot of this stuff if we just stopped being so self-absorbed and wanting things the way that we want them and yeah so the reason i'm doing this is i have uh, four wonderful children and a lot of grandbabies <laughs> and i really it's really important to me that i leave a legacy of of love and peace and you know, long suffering, community, you know, healthy human stuff, um, a place where we look past our, I don't know, our disagreements. We look past our, our, maybe our history that may not be so good. And we are, we're able to just see a human who's